a couple hours ago, I posted a video of a match I had where I got shot down in a very suspicious way by someone. And I pretty much said the guy was a hacker or a cheater or whatever you want to call it. And since I posted that video, I learned a couple things, specifically about console players and some of the tools they have. But at the time when I saw these things, which I will show you here, I had no idea that console could do those things. Now, I made it my, uh, I guess, I made a huge effort in this match to not expose myself to any tankers. As you can see, I flew in as low as I could to take this point. Let me just speed it up right here because it's kind of pointless. But I capture the point. No one really sees me get away. And I'm hovering here, just trying to guard it, whatever. Um, but a Huey, like, pops up in a couple seconds, and I try to shoot it down. Now, this is somewhat important, because this is the part where I don't really understand it. Um, and I guess real quickly, let me pause this and say, the guy is not a cheater. He did, he did a lot of things that look like he's cheating, but he actually was not. So you can see here, the the Huey has some eyes on me now, but I never really exposed myself to any tankers except for maybe this guy. But I double checked and that guy could not see me with his tank. And right about here is where that AGS shoots me. Very quickly, with like, out any hesitation, with like less than a second to react, he shot me down without ever seeing me until that moment. So let me show you what it looks like from his point of view. Uh, just so I guess people can understand where I came from when I said that he was a hacker or a cheater. Because in any normal circumstance, I think most people would say that that guy was cheating. As most people who play this game probably play on PC. Well, maybe not anymore, but uh, most people I play with and most of my time in this game has been on PC, and I've never seen anything like this before. So I'm going to show you from his point of view. It takes him like a good minute to get in the match. Which is one reason why I think he's actually a console player, because nobody really loads in this late unless they're playing on a console. Because I, I have played on console before, and I have had friends... Uh, who do play on console queue up with me and they queue in a lot later into the match You can see the match is already like a minute and a half two minutes in like I'm practically at the a point I'm about to capture it So I'm capturing the a point and let me show you his view So you can see that he's not really using any chamming if he was he would have been locking on to these tanks but he's looking around genuinely, not knowing where anyone is. He does spot that BMP-2M, but that was, that was legit. So I'm going to speed it up here. He backs up, his barrel's out, and now he's hearing me hovering around. And he has nothing better to do other than look for me, so he's looking around, trying to spot me. And in about 15 seconds, I'm going to pop up my name's gonna pop up on the right side and he's gonna lock on to me and right about now is when I pop up and shortly after I pop up here I'm assuming my name's popping up red because I've been spotted by someone now I think it's because the Huey has spotted me but you can kind of see here, he definitely has eyes on me. So let's go back to the guy... Oh, wait. That's him. Okay. So now, he locks on to me. He's like, boom, snaps straight to me. You can kind of see, like, zoomed in, and the circle went exactly where my helicopter was. And now he's perfectly tracking me through these rocks, having never ever seen me. And he knows exactly where I'm going to pop up. Now, obviously, hacks wouldn't tell him where I'm going to go, but you can see here he sees me, locks on, and shoots me down really quickly. 
Which, I saw that, I'm like, how did anyone have that much reaction time to shoot me down unless they knew I was behind the rocks? Behind the mountains. And uh, console players, like, I guess I'll spoil it, but I will show y'all. Console players can lock on to people in realistic battles through rocks, through hills, through anything, and they can track them. So here's another part that made me go, huh. He's like driving and driving and he immediately snaps to this A129. I'm like, okay, that's, I can't even do that on PC. Like, how do you even do that? On top of that, he's perfectly tracking this thing. It's super smooth, like it's a radar lock. And this part also made me wonder if he's actually on console because he's using a mouse wheel to scroll the um, the distance. You can see that it was not one smooth um, movement. It was, uh, it kind of was like a shift. Like he was scrolling the mouse wheel, moving his finger back down the mouse wheel, and then scrolling again. Which, again, uh, spoiler, <laughs> console players could use mouse too. So console players can lock on to people through things, they can track them like an optical or a radar guide, and they can use mouse aim, or use a mouse to aim their tank. All these things happening at the same time, not knowing about the previous two things, made me think this guy was a hacker. But the reality is he's not a hacker, he's just using these tools that Gaijin gave him. Okay. So, don't mind the phone recording, but this is the only way I could show the hardware and uh, uh, War Thunder running at the same time. So, right now I have War Thunder running on an Xbox One. You can see here is the controller, moves the camera around, and just to cut to the chase, I'm going to take the XM1 into a test drive. But first, I'm going to take it into a arcade battle, just so I can show something that you can also do in the PC version of War Thunder. So, in all versions of War Thunder, whether it's console or not, tankers can lock on to aircraft. Well, they can also lock on to tanks, but they can lock on to aircraft also. But, unlike what people, I guess, normally do, where they just kind of use their mouse, um, there is a key binding here called Target Tracking Ground Vehicle. And what that does is it will track any target you want so as you can see like it's bound to X so if I hold down X or right mouse button or LT it will track the target but I have to lock on to a target first and I bound the lock on button which by the way these are the default controls uh, I don't play War Thunder like this I just this is my console account from a long time ago um, but I can lock onto a target with A or middle mouse button so I will show you here with the controller what happens so we get a, uh, a plane there press A Locks on, and I hold down X. Oop. Hold on. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get this plane over us first. I really should have put a zoom button in. It's whatever. It's too late now. Okay. I hold down X, and boom. It just snaps right to the plane. Like, watch. Boom. And it works even in gun sight. And I can also, if I can hold this down, I can move, use the joystick to adjust it. So it's just like a radar lock, almost. Now, something that is exclusive to console that the PC players cannot do is they can do this in realistic battles. They can lock onto aircraft and that target tracking still works because it works with anything that is locked onto. So, uh, is it messed up? Um, I don't know. I, this is a, uh, you know, did, Console players usually will only have a controller, but I will show you something that is a little irritating once I load this up. So now we're going into a realistic battle. So hopefully you can see it. It'll be a little harder to see. I'll get closer to the TV. But um, I will show you as soon as the battle starts, if I can one hand this controller. Okay, so you can see there, there's a plane, and I can lock on to it, and if I hold down X, I said, oh, if I hold down X, it follows it perfectly. 
and I can still shoot and everything, just like, you know, in the arcade battle. Now, here's where it's a little fucked up. So consoles can now use a mouse. So I'm going to take this little HP mouse, I'm going to plug it in, and this target tracking still works with the mouse. So this is still the same mouse uh, USB. I just got it off camera for a second. So, as you can see, oh, let me see if I can get a good angle. We got a mouse. And it's working with War Thunder. And I can still lock on if I can find it. Where is the jet? I lost it. <laughs> Where'd it go? Okay, well, anyway, I'll just let me restart this real quick. Okay. Let's see if I can get the mouse in frame. I guess I don't even need to use the mouse. I can just lock onto it like this. I'm going to have to move it now. Okay. So you can see here. Boom. Lock on. Tracking. Shooting. With a mouse. And I can still move the mouse around like I'm on a PC. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. But Anyways. Now, I'm gonna, I do want to test something. I want to see, does this work in Sim? Because if this works in Sim, like, I'm just, I'm, I'll be so done. In conclusion, he is not a hacker. He is a console player using the tools available to him so that he can give himself the best chance at winning. Which, let's face it, we all do that. And I was an asshole for jumping to conclusions and accusations without consulting others who may know more than me or see more than me. And I really thank those who brought those things that I did not know to my attention. Because you did us all a favor, you made me look like less of an asshole, and you definitely saved this guy some hate. And I do apologize for calling you a cheater and a hacker in front of many people. Now, who the fuck uses a mouse on console when you have auto-aim and a lock-on that lets you see through mountains and realistic battles? I hope every SL and RP booster you activate curses your matches. And I hope you can find a way to sleep at night, knowing you are the scummiest console player in War Thunder. Good night.